This year on Zoom TV, thanks to United Fuel Injection, the only place you should be taking your diesel, we're going to teach you how to be a better home mechanical do-it-yourselfer. Now, I'm not very good with my hands and I'm not very mechanically minded. I know some of you are saying, yes, you are, but I'm not. So, Ken Ringrose from United Fuel Injection will be taking me through different processes. Ken, thank you very much for your time and your experience. Now, what are we going to be working on today? Okay, Aaron, what we're going to do today is teach you how to time a fuel injection pump to an engine. Okay, now, it sounds pretty hard. It can be a little bit complicated, but it is a fairly simple process. Okay, so I guess you've got the man that knows what he's doing. Check. Has the car been made safe? Is it in neutral? Correct. Is the handbrake on? Yes. Have you taken out the keys? Absolutely. Okay, the next thing we need is the tools. Now, I see them here. Is that all we need? Yes, Aaron. What you're going to need is a ratchet, a 12 millimeter socket, an extension, open-end ring spanner, dial gauge, and a timing tool. Okay, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm excited. I'm going to get in full character, and you're going to teach me how to time my fuel pump. I'm ready to go. Where do we start? Right, Aaron, what we're going to do first is get the, the engine on the top dead centre cylinder number one, which I've already done for you. Okay. What we're going to do is get you on on this side of the engine so that you can start working. The first thing you're going to do is remove the plug in the centre of the fuel pump at the back. Okay, right down here. No, I know, oh. don't drop the nut, I know. You were about to tell me that, weren't you? I was going to say, don't drop the washer, Aaron. Oh, oh the washer. There's a washer? There's a washer. <laughs> Be careful not to drop the washer because it will leak afterwards. OK, I don't think this one came with a washer. No, it's there. See? There it is. Next step is for you to come around to the front of the engine. OK. Turn it back approximately 30 degrees. OK, so 30 degrees anti-clockwise. 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 I reckon that's about 30 degrees. Ken, do you agree? Excellent. Now, Aaron, you need to come around to this side again and zero the gauge. Zero the gauge. So, so how do the, I do that? You turn the top of the gauge around until the zero is pointing at the needle. Oh, it's like an army watch. Look at that. Yeah. Now you need to come around to the front of the engine. Check. Turn the engine back to top dead centre. Yes. Line the mark up with a pointer. OK. Clockwise. Clockwise. OK. That's in line. Check. Right, Aaron. Now, this is a Hilux engine. They are timed to 0.75 millimetres at TDC. So you need to double check that there's stopped on that mark. 75.75, look at that, I nailed it. Excellent. Now, Aaron, if it is out, what you need to do is loosen the mounting nuts on the fuel pump and actually turn the fuel pump until it comes to 0.75 and lock them up again. OK, so I'm lucky with this one, I don't have to do that? Correct. How about I go and make us a coffee, come back and show the people when it's done? What do you reckon? Uh, no. Uh, sorry, Aaron, but you're the one who's going to be putting it back together and starting the engine up. Okay. I'll go and make the coffee. Great. Thanks, Ken. Ooh, there you go. Job done. Now, it's always important that you know how to maintain your car and know all the small jobs, but the big jobs leave them to the professionals. Professionals like United Fuel Injection. To find out more, go to unitedfuelinjection.com.au or follow the links from Zoom TV. Now, I've got to go and find out from Ken what this little washer does. He did say it was important. <laughs>